so hello everyone so today in front of us chhatrapati hazarika is there and uh, recently he, is, he has been selected in npcil and uh, he is from chemical background so let's start the process and before starting the process first of all we as a markdarshan team want to can congratulate you for getting selected thank you sir NPCIL. so let's start your journey how you how did you reach here and what's your gate rank and uh, what's your interview experience and how markdarshan help you in achieving yes, sir. this could come so let's start from your side okay sir so my name is chatrapati kamalan hazarika i am from assam and i live in the city of guwahati and uh, my should i introduce with my gate rank sir <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm from the ST category actually, schedule drive category. My rank, uh, get air AIR rank is uh, 1600, 600. So that's pretty low. And that was on top of my head that how will I crack NPCL. with NPCL? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I I saw the fact that they will be you know considering hundred percent based on interview marks. So like I I I thought that maybe I had a chance because I had some uh, somewhat good uh, speak, uh, speaking skills with others. So in case of interview, since it is not exactly all uh, knowledge-based, some of it like it's uh, in your head also. So that's why I thought, let's give it a go. And I invested into Mark Darshan. That was the best decision I ever made in my life, actually. And uh, it helped me a lot. So here I am now. I can you know proudly say that I have been selected into NPCL and... Uh, my training post will be Tarapur in Maharashtra, starting from 1st August. So when did you pass out from your college? I passed out last year. I took a year gap. Uh, uh, so yeah, I gave, 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 prepared for GATE 2024. And with that marks only, I entered for NPCL. Okay, okay. So NPCL is probably based on the interview. So just mm, yes. good luck. You give it a chance and you converted it finally. Yes. yes. Yeah. So uh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. You okay, keep because you have a very uh, lower rank and in chemical yes. engineering up to that rank, mostly not possible that you are getting mm -hmm. to a PSU. So yes. it's very achievable or very inspirable journey so that you, uh, your juniors can be guided from your journey as well. So yes, when did your interview schedule date at NPCIL? Um, my interview was on the first day uh, of uh, MPCL interviews. I think it was 3rd June. And uh, I went for my interview at uh, Kalpakam, uh, uh, Tamil Nadu Center. And oh. there, uh, well, I reached there on, on 2nd. I stayed at the guest house. And it was a very tiring process, actually. Uh, the whole interview day was like, I, since I reached a bit of an afternoon, so I had to go through document verification on the same date as uh, as that of the interview. So like my interview came around like when everyone was tired, including me. I I, I went on with a good you know t-shirt, all pressed and all all perfect. And then after up to that point, everything was wrinkled. So yeah, I was also tired. But yeah, whatever. I <laughs> I somehow you know managed to get uh, myself together and I went there. And uh, thus, uh, the panel was very nice. They were very helpful. And even if I couldn't do a uh, tell answer directly, they tried multiple times, five, five times they give you hints, six times. I also, I couldn't answer one question. Actually, they gave me six uh, hints, but I still couldn't uh, answer one question, but it's fine, actually. Uh, I, you know, answered the rest of them pretty well. So yeah, I think that's why I got interview so yeah. how many members were there in the panel mm, there were exactly seven uh, seven members including one uh ma'am and she was i think uh hr i think the hr somewhere someone so she only asked me one question at the end like uh she asked me what uh, according to me in my opinion what should be i mean should we uh, encourage the use of nuclear power in our country so yeah, that was an only question from her. Arrest uh, all chemical background engineers working there. So yeah, they had, they asked me by turns. Oh, so the panel yeah. was asking the technical question or non-technical question. Like in the technical question, they are being asking uh, about the pump heat exchangers. Yes. And in the deep down, they are going into the deep of the concepts or just mm -hmm. going 
thoroughly through the concepts? Uh, they were they were actually cross questioning me actually a lot. Uh, I I was very careful about what I said in the answers. So like whenever they cross question me, they cross question me about uh, something I know. So I tried to you know handle that very carefully. Like I I shouldn't say anything I didn't know. Uh, so yeah, mostly my interview was cross questioning and uh, oh, subject wise, I think my my uh, most questions were based on my uh, uh, say industrial training during that I had during my BTEC. So there mostly mass transfer was asked because I did my internship at ISL League Boy. So yeah, like that. Mostly questions were some uh, all cross questions and leading from that into my industrial internship. Okay. So from the internship, they were asking you the questions, yeah. right? Yes, yes. They were asking about fluid mechanics and like that also? Mm, they, uh, fluid mechanics, they didn't get into that deep with me. Uh, they weren't asking me about too much about pumps. They just asked me about flow, flow, flow meters and uh, about any instrument that I saw in the refinery itself. And my interview mostly was MTO and HTO if I want to categorize it. And yeah. Okay, so uh, N2, S2. So basically, your interview uh, basically revolves around the mass transfer and your training. Program. Yeah, yes, yes. So uh, you have, uh, what was the duration uh, of your interview? Mm, I didn't actually uh, look at the time before I went and after I came out, but I think by like assumption, it should be 30 or 35 minutes, which is uh, pretty much uh, short actually compared to others where they took uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, because your interview, I think, first interview was there. Yes. So that's why it's uh, around 30 to 35 minutes. I think so, sir, yes. So, no problem in there. So how... And also, I, like, gave all questions in, like, a very brief notes, actually. I would, I was very careful in not uh, saying too much and uh, making things up by my own. I only said whatever I knew. So, yeah, it was, it was very short, short answers. But it was a lot of answers, actually. Suppose you are not knowing any answer and you are yes. uh, you don't have any knowledge of that answer. So how did you tackle that at the time of interview? Just you are directly yeah. saying no or you are just thinking something after before saying no? Well, uh, there was one or uh, two particular questions that they were asked like that. Uh, one was about some heat exchanger and what was actually the fouling, effect of fouling, uh, how uh, fouling was affected due to the temperature change. Well, I didn't know exactly that, but I tried to, you know, dig something up. And after four to six tries, they gave me, and I couldn't answer that question. So they moved on themselves. And after that, uh, flow meters, which I had absolutely no idea, uh, they, they, are, but they asked me about like, uh, did you see any flow, any kind of instruments in ISA, in your internship? So I like, I said like, uh, mostly my internship was very short, so I couldn't see that much of instrument. So I like gave <laughs> that kind of, uh, yeah. I mean, I made an ex kind of excuse. So like, yeah, they moved on about from that. And rest, I knew about them. Yeah, the questions. So how do you feel uh, feeling now? Uh, I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling very, I mean, happy and very satisfied actually. Uh, seeing all my friends, you know, take away with jobs. I was only man, some of the I was some of the few actually uh, and getting a job <laughs> at actually the first try is really yeah satisfying for me. Very good, yeah. You have yeah. very uh, lower rank. I am not demotivating you. Yes, but, yes. Uh, you are just you just did a wonder because you are you just selected into the NPCIL and it's yes, a great job. You have to join it. And uh, when is your interview? Sorry, when is uh, joining joining day? Joining first August. First of August. Yes, yes, first of August. First of August at the NPCI Kakrapur. NPCI uh, Karapur, yes, Maharashtra. But before that, they asked me to go through some medical uh, medical examination and some document verification. Medical examination after yeah. that, uh, you can. After join. that, yes, yes. So in the NPCI, afterwards we we will share the journey with the, your juniors. So how yes. do you guide the juniors after your journey? Uh, well, I would firstly say mostly people get demotivated by their gate score. That is the thing. Everyone wants ISL. <laughs> Everyone wants ONGC. But the reality is like uh, there are very 
and I mean, there are other PSUs that are, you know, worth the time if you want. I mean, obviously, NPCL is not like not everybody choice because of the location, because it is very remote, but just try. I mean, I'm also trying. I'm also a bit uncomfortable going into a remote place. Uh, I'm living in a city, going into a remote place out of like so many, so many states far away from Assam. Like still, you have to compromise something. And uh, yeah, don't get demotivated and, you know, try to enjoy your subjects, learn, try to learn more about uh, the subject itself rather than formulas and how to solve questions. I think about the practical aspects because that that's what helps me really. And in terms of interview based, I would say like that it is more about two way interaction. Like it's not like they will ask you a fixed set of questions. You can you know try to alter their the way that they will ask. So try to learn some you know tricks that you can use in interviews. And yeah, that's all I could say actually. Yeah, okay. So uh, in which course did you enroll the mark question and how we help you? Yes, I enrolled in the Chayan course and uh, I took two mock uh, mock interviews and I all and I tried to go through all the contents like I go I used your heat transfer operation content and like uh, everyone's uh, Subodh sir and uh, Jay sir everyone everyone gave their input in every subject so I tried to learn everything I mean almost every uh, uh, subject that you all provided and like that helps really helps a lot because you can't go through all books I mean in such a short time so that's really helpful so, uh, the mock interview did uh, it is that help you yeah it, it, it helps it helps us a lot because it gives me it gave me a very confidence boost and also it gave I mean uh, it showed me where I'm weak it showed me where I should study focus rather than uh, you know, focusing on one subject that I know already. So it showed me the weak points and I focus on that. So yeah, I and obviously my first mock interview was very bad. So compared to that, my second mock interview was very good. So yeah, obviously we can see the uh, impact it plays. So mock interviews really, you know, helpful, just like test in gate exam. Yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> Like if you are going uh, to the interview, just before the interview, you have to give the mock interview. Mm, yeah, definitely. Okay, so again, congratulations, Chhatrapati. Thank you, sir. From the mock question team. And again, Thank you so much. Your dream, whatever you have your dream in your life, you will achieve that. And Thank again, you, sir. Uh, we will have a very detailed discussion in your NPCL interview. Uh, what will be the question, uh, what did question they asked at the time of panel? So mm. we'll be really discussing in the next video. Okay, so, Congratulations, uh, Chaturbhati. Thank you, sir.